Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you the team I'm going to use for this invasion event. But it's going to be a team with a slight twist, because as it says in the bottom right hand corner there, use this troop to defeat the towers. That is General Saladin, and the reason you'd use him normally is because he is the siege breaker, and as such, he does three to five times damage to the towers based on your ascensions. But I don't think you're going to need him, because the team that I've got here does so much damage so quickly, I'm not sure we're even going to need this guy, but I'll try it anyway. Well, if we need to add him in later, we can, but initially, I honestly don't think we're going to need to. Right, this is a guild event. Your guild may have started this already, so collect that lovely stuff straight away. Look at that, I've got a load of bits all together. I haven't even done anything yet. Orb of Chaos, give me one of them new orbs. Go on, I dare you. Don't then. Anyway... Right, onto the team itself. Human is the type of troop we need to use for this. And we can have a really, really cool team with this. This is the weapon that is available on Tier 3 in the shop on this event. Really love the sound of this. Mortal Chain explodes. Blue Gems do love these explodey weapons. Grants a random status effect to all humans and has a summon at the same time. Tesla uses blue. She's going to be in our team and we have two of them. So we're going to make full use of that blue and all those status effects at the same time. Tesla deals eight true damage boosted by all ally and enemy armor. That and enemy armor is a real big deal because that means the more powerful the enemy gets, the more it works against them with Tesla. And she just does more and more damage, just electrifying them to bits. Just the more and more powerful they get, the more it works against them. So with two of these, and buying that tier 1 from the shop at least, you get the potion of enchantment, means this team is going to charge up really fast, because we have Holy St. Astra as well. And she gives life and armor to all allies, creates a light storm, and enchants all humans. So when she casts, this is going to have multiple effects. We're going to get a bunch of life, which makes the team more survivable. We're going to get a bunch of armor, which makes us more survivable, and increases the damage of Tesla's spell. That is really, really important. Chuck on any nice medals you've got, that sort of thing, to boost up Holy St. Astra's effect. The more armor you get, the more you're going to boost the damage that Tesla dishes out. And with two of them, it's going to be a lot. And she also enchants all humans. So as soon as these two have cast, they're going to be ready to do it again in no time at all. You can cast them straight off the bat, straight away, and then cast Holy St. Astra and just do it all over again. It should happen really quickly. Everybody's got a 50% mana start. We're going to be enchanted. We're going to get armor boost and just absolutely wreck the opposition. It's going to be really straightforward. Do want to be in a human class for this? So a war priest or plague lord is the other one. War priest is definitely the better of the two for this because this team doesn't use purple and plague lord is a class which is kind of based around using purple. So for this we'll have ferocity, leading light, gain 10 armor if in first position. Again, aiding the, that damage that we do with uh, Tesla. Uh, brilliant Aura. Quick study. Handy if you don't have this on level 100 yet. Commander. Bloodthirsty and Divinity. So really good set of traits as well. And do love that third trait on this. 50% chance to stun a random enemy at the start of my turn. Right. Let's um, check the banner. What's the banner? Is that right? Plus two red, plus one brown, minus one purple. Indeed it is. So this is going to be quick for a long time. You can grab any four matches which come along or cast our new weapon to charge up the team. Tesla just goes kabosh. And this is going to be without using the Siege Breaker, which normally you do have to do. Potion of Explosion is good but bad at the same time. Often gives you a what was a good start and turns it into a, a not so good one. But we can just keep on casting Tesla at first. And of course the second Tesla will be charged really, really quickly. And then when you cast your Holy St. Astra, you enchant the Teslas again, give them a massive armor boost, and just kill everything. Probably. Hopefully. That's the plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done another video earlier today showing a really cool Amarok Devour team. It just devours again and again and again. It's really, really fun. Use it in any delve that uses red. You can use it in Explore 12 as well. 
a lot of fun to use. First tower has appeared. Is it decorated with Christmas stuff? Yes, it is. Holiday tower. Gain eight life and armor, and also a barrier, and deal eighteen damage to an enemy, and enchant a random ally. So, um, yeah, it's a tower disguised as a Christmas tree. So we cast the second one. Both Teslas back to back. The enemy will start getting stronger from now on, so we'll cast our Teslas first. Then, uh, our Holy St. Astra, which will give us a massive boost and get ready to do it again. If it doesn't work out quite as I envisaged, then we can add in the um, General Saladin and do it that way. Oh, good. We'll do it on the fly and just work out what is better as we go along. But this is going to be good for a while, I think. Yeah, plenty there. They're going to be gone. It's the fact that Tesla... The damage output is increased by the enemy armor as well, so it really does make a difference. As they get more powerful, the more it works against them. Kiaboosh. If you don't have medals of Nysha to increase the damage of your Teslas and... Not so much your Teslas, sorry, because that is a set amount, but of your Holy and Astro, which is going to boost the Teslas, then chuck on medals of guard this is going to increase your overall um armor in the team which increases your damage output you don't need anything like a medal of arnu everyone gets a 50 percent start with this so absolutely no need for that may as well take that anyway i have a little slice of that a small bit of that have a one of them and take that on the side. No idea what I'm talking about. Two more invasion signal sigils. Can cast this now if you're not going to power. I'm going to kill everybody with the first Tesla. Cast the weapon, then cast both Teslas back to back. It was enough. And as you can see, the second Tesla was ready to go. Holy St. Astra was ready to give the team a massive boost in armor, which is going to increase Tesla's damage and enchant everyone at the same time, which would have got them up. Ready to cast again really, really quickly. And let's just do this anyway, because everyone gets a status effect at the same time. We've got Reflect, I think. Really cool. This is not going to take long. Storm Tower. It's definitely stormy, but it's coming from us. Not you. Really handy, just taking away that barrier that they had then. Both Teslas back to back. And keep on going. both Teslas are ready to go because obviously if you cast the first Tesla before the second one is ready you're going to be mana blocking the first Tesla no mana blocking the second Tesla because the first Tesla is going to be getting the mana first when you actually want the second Tesla to be ready nice and fast so have patience it's quicker in the long run Holiday Tower or no Holiday Tower with Christmassy stuff, you are going down. So yeah, some nice start on red, but watch Potion of Enchantment. Oh, I was going to say watch Potion of uh, Explosion even ruin it, but it didn't for a change. It was actually left there in a good way. Like when we get in this situation, you can obviously cast your Holy St. Astra first, because right now the boost on our Tesla is 129. But let's do this first. Everyone's got a boost in armor. Now the boost is 178. So certainly worth doing. Didn't make a difference this time. Would have still 
wiped out everybody with both casts of Tesla, but certainly something you'd want to do on the later levels. So it's still wiping out these towers really easily without the need of a siege breaker. Tesla's doing everything. Very easy. Cool, that's a nice little set of explosions there. Can cast this Tesla first because the potion of enchantment means the second Tesla is ready on the next round. It's gone up a level. Yeah, what should we have? get brown nearer to the red level well this doesn't take long at all to get to the higher levels and again absolutely no need for the siege breaker whatsoever it's been a absolute no contest can I get this red at the same time with blue not really but do I need to absolutely not Oh, that poor match got spoiled in the corner, but it doesn't really matter. Cast one, cast the other. No Siege Breaker. This weapon isn't even essential, I know I picked it up, but any explody weapon in first slot is going to be good. In fact, you've got the option of uh, selecting a weapon which doesn't mana block the Teslas as well, so that is... A way to go with it as well. Uh, what should we do here? Should I cast this first? Why not? Let's get a little bit of a boost. Get both the Teslas up. Total overkill. Didn't need to cast Holy St. Astra. Oh, they're both ready. True damage, really good because what it means is you're not taking away any of the armor from the other side by doing true damage throughout your team, which keeps the damage of the Teslas nice and high. Not much of our mana colors there initially, but we'll absolutely take that and party. And let's cast a weapon to get the other Tesla up. And this is an absolute walk in the park. Not even having to boost the Teslas up with the Holy St. Astra. Obviously, if your player level is not as high as mine or you can't boost up the damage like I can, then you may have to cast your Holy St. Astra first to get a nice little boost to that damage. But it is beneficial normally to cast the Teslas first because when you cast a Holy St. Astra, you're going to enchant the other humans, which means Tesla is going to be enchanted and be ready to do it all over again really, really quickly. We're on the last stage already. No siege breaker. Very, very nice. Use that to generate mana for the team. As well get that, get a cheeky extra hit in. But it does actually diminish the power that your Tesla does, but hey ho, this game is so under control that it doesn't really matter. I'll just do a couple more levels and a call a video a day. Yes, a video, you are a day. And you know it. Alright, the enemy is getting more powerful now. You can maybe cast this. Holy St. Astra's charged. You can chuck that on. She's going to boost up. The, Holy, the um, Tesla's now doing 214 because the enemy is getting more powerful, you see. I don't think I even needed to do that. The enemy getting more powerful completely works against them with Tesla. The more armor they get, the more damage she does. So she plugs them into the mains, whacks the voltage up and just electrifies them even more. Don't need to get that uh, mana for her there because basically 
because of the enchantments, she'll be ready on the next round. Boom shakalaka. Yeah, there's literally a couple of rounds per match. It's ludicrous. But in a good way. Lovely blue mana surge there. We'll absolutely grab that. And again, the second Tesla is up. See, this is actually getting more powerful as I go along. I don't even, think I even need Holy St. Astra. The boost that the enemy is getting in the armor is doing all the work for me. This is possibly the easiest invasion ever. That's a lovely surge. Yeah. The more powerful they get, the worse it gets. Oh, right. Shall I do one more? Yeah, I'll do one more. And then call it a day, because as you can see, this team works perfectly well without the need for the Siege Breaker. But obviously you can have the Siege Breaker if you don't have two Teslas. You can have the uh, one of them in there to finish off the opponent. Even if you don't have that your Siege Breaker on full power, like uh, Ascend it all the way, you're still going to get a minimum of three times spell damage when you cast it. So you can certainly go about that. That way, instead, if you don't have a second Tesla, just pop in one of those Siege Breakers to finish off the towers. Well, that'll do for that. I think that is plenty to show how cool that team is. Um, there's a video if you enjoyed it, found it useful, helpful, any of those things. Tell your dog, cat, budgie, hamsters, goldfish, camels, iguanas. I don't know what pets you got. Tell them all, share the video, tell your guild, all that jazz. But most of all, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.